How an FM transmitter works to broadcast the audio on a drive-in movie theater. How to make the connection of the equipment and the setup of it. Would you like to see a practice demo of an FM transmitter for a driving movie? If you want to know the answer to all these questions, please stay tuned. Hi, I'm Daniel Pometti and my intention in this video is to answer as many frequent questions about how to transmit the audio of a driving theater inside the cars. In modern driving theaters, the audio is transmitted into the cars by means of a standard FM radio transmitter. So, the car just must be tuned on the frequency on the drive-in and hear the film as a normal radio program. Teco Broadcast is a specialist to provide a FM transmitter drive-in package. It contains everything needed to implement this system. The package is composed by a stereo FM transmitter, a dipole, wideband antenna, and cables, connectors, everything. Now, I will show you the single pieces. This is the FM transmitter. This is the back of the FM transmitter where we have all the connectors, especially for the input stereo. So you just can come here directly from your source audio and all the audio, the coder all the, of the audio will be done. This is a cable complete with the connectors and the dipole antenna and aluminium, very light. Now, I will show you how to connect this equipment. I will make the standard connections. The first thing is to connect the antenna cable to the output of the transmitters. The other side of the cable will be connected just to the antenna. I will simulate the antenna is placed on some place close to the screen. Next step is to connect the audio input. I will in this case take the audio just from my computer. Then we can plug in the main. Now the transmitter is ready to work. I turn on it. The transmitter is working now at a frequency of 99 MHz. I have here a radio tuned at 99 MHz. Is everything in place? You weren't supposed to relieve me. I know, but I felt like taking a shift. You like? If I turn off the transmitter, I will hear how a standard radio is coming inside. As you can see, this is a normal radio that is working at 99 MHz. When I turn on the drive-in, simply I hear my pen. Next step is to set up the equipment. To start, we will explain a little bit the keys. We have the navigation keys, up, down, enter and escape. And then we have the control keys, that is, to turn on and off the transmitter. You can see here the power. If I give off RFO, I see the power is zero or on. Of course, before to do anything, I must to put the transmitter on local, so to enable 
the editing on local. Then, with the navigation keys, I can just push enter and enter in the setting of the power. I can go from almost zero. In fact, I see I'm not on here. To a very low power, like one watt, is very stable, the transmitter, even at low level of powers. And slowly I can increase. I can go two, three watt, four, five. This is a typical power needed in a real driving situation. But in some cases, if you have a radio that is covering your frequency or, or you don't find a free frequency, then you can increase the power just to get more coverage and to cover the interference produced by the other radio. There is an interference frequency, but typically the power is used is two, three, four watts. That is enough. Then when you are sure of the power you, you want to set, you just give OK. It asks you if you are sure you'll get yes or not. You say yes. And so the power is set at the level you want. Moreover, if I go down one step, I can set the frequency. Again, I push enter and I can program any frequency from, so typically it's from 87.5, that is the minimum frequency allowed on the frequency band, up to 108 megahertz. If you want, you can go to set, it, set up it very, very fine way, just 100 kilohertz at a time. When you are sure of the frequency, for example, we will choose again 99 megahertz, we give enter, you are sure, yes, and then I get again my program. Moreover, I can check that the transmitter must be on stereo because we must be sure it is enabled the stereo color. Okay, you can even put it in mono, but you know for transmit the cinema, you need to have the transmitter on stereo. So yes, in this way you enable the stereo and you must check these LED lights. Moreover, the transmitter has a limiter that can be on or off. We suggest to use it in off so that you can get a higher volume of, yes, in this way I see here the limiter is off and we know that we can get a higher deviation and to get a higher volume and you will be able to transmit better the effects of your film. Moreover, we can see how is the deviation. In this case, we see the level of the audio is zero. I will put now again the film and I see how now I have the audio, okay? It depends naturally or on the volume of what they are saying at the moment. But here you can see the level at which you are transmitting. This is the level of the left and the right. We have other adjustments on the back of the transmitter. First of all, I will show you the most important connectors we use. This is the RF out connector where we connect the antenna. Normally, we will use these two connectors for driving with left and right because here is the stereo coder inside. The other connectors are used typically for the normal radios like the MPX input. If you have, for example, an stereo coder external or an audio processor external with a stereo coder, you must come to this connector called MPX. But normally you will use this one, left and right. Moreover, as I told you before, you have these small trimmers to adjust eventually the level of the input of the left and right if you don't have this the possibility to adjust the volume of the output of your source. Here we have a very important set that is the pre-emphasis. You can use in linear mode 50 microseconds or 75 microseconds. Take in account that you must always use the pre-emphasis, so it must never be in linear because in FM standard it's used a pre-emphasis. So you will use 
or 50 microseconds if you are in Europe or 75 microseconds if you are in America or other countries. You must know the pre-emphasis typical of your country. If you don't put the pre-emphasis, probably you will hear the sound of your film is not bright. There is not enough high frequencies. It seems that it seems that it's too low without high frequencies. The pre-emphasis returns gives to the transmission the right level of high frequencies. So please take care to use this setup. And of course the on-off button of the transmitter. So this is the back. Of course, we are not in a drive-in, we are in our factory, but in any way I will show you how easy it is to test this system. Now we are looking at a film in my PC and just I'm taking the output of my PC going inside the left and right input of the transmitter. Of course, the antenna is connected to the transmitter with the cable and this is my setup is simulation of a real drive-in. Of course, the normal setup of the antenna is not over the table. It must be put outdoor, close to the screen of the drive-in. The transmitter is working at 99 megahertz. The receiver is, of course, at 99 megahertz. And we will tune in my car 99 megahertz to hear, to hear the same film. We will go to my car to hear the same thing we are hearing here. Okay, we are going to my car. I'm here, I see, you can see, we are tuning at 99 megahertz and we hear the film. Our antenna is more or less in that direction. That windows. We will try to see how is the coverage of this setup. Sound is perfect. They're going away. Down now. All the time, your men are already dead. 